Today I'm going to try out a new way to rig a topwater lure for redfish. Stay tuned. In an earlier video, I discussed basically just using dead bait, you know, frozen mullet, as a topwater lure. And you just walk the dog back, and I caught some great fish on that. But the problem was that the mullet tended to sink, uh, and I didn't think that that was giving me the topwater action that I wanted. So I was looking for something that was going to keep the nose of the mullet up a little bit more and in the strike zone a little bit longer. So I fell back on my fly fishing days and decided to try some of these big strike indicators. They come in this, this flavor and there's this football flavor as well. The advantage of this is that you can rig it up on the line all the way to the hook. The advantage of this is that you can take it off. So I'm trying the rig in line with the hook version today. And you can see that the styrofoam is going to be right here. It's going to keep this mullet up a little bit closer to the surface. I've got it rigged backwards so the, the water flows over it. And you keep these in place with a toothpick. So I'm going to fish with this today. And let's see if it's any good. Nice little red. Well, here's a good start to the day. Well, I just had a stingray on the top water. But he broke off, so I'm not really sure how big he was or whether it was actually a stingray, but I thought I saw him. I think I'm coming to the conclusion that the topwater rig without the float is probably just as good as the one with the float. I'm not really catching a lot of stuff uh, with that extra float, and that is an extra cost. What's your perspective? Throw in the comments.